she admitted? This is going to be great. Why don't you just get a, uh, a 6500 HD turbo diesel dump truck with, uh, with uh, a special hydraulic dump that has a uh, titanium, uranium, osmosis um, bed liner. What do we have here? Is an amazing pile of firewood. It's very nice, and uh, I will sell this to you for uh, five dollars a piece. You give me best deal. All done. Now we can sit in traffic, but we still got the truck trash tip. You see the Homer bucket in the back of the videos? That's where you put the trash. We got a piece of garbage, right, right? Boop! Right in the garbage can. And you dump the garbage can every day. See, that's what that is. Well, I think I just fired one of my best clients. Uh, got a good client who's very loyal and always pays me, but she drives me nuts, man. Nitpicks everything, pulls us around by her ears, me and my guys, to microscopically just do stuff that's just stupid and inefficient but it's not to her so uh, people with money sometimes if they've had loss in their life they might use their money as a way to like to vent by paying other people to do crazy shit so basically like we'll trim up a tree for her, a shrub and her whole property needs to be done but she'll make us spend an hour and a half with microscopic like tweezers pruning the dead and the twigs out of uh, like a shrub and we don't even have enough time to trim the rest of her property because she'll make us focus on these little areas and it's not logical it's um it's very illogical and we're like as landscapers we're like this doesn't make any sense anyways i'm just venting man I'm driving nuts the craziest healthiest lunch ever avocados and then Check this out. Oh, shoot. Yumbo. Deliciousness. And then I got these, uh, uh, I don't know, look at all these. Tell me that don't look good. There's what I usually get. The only way you could begin to build a pipeline or any of that or get your business off the ground or get a second line of income is by doing it when you are exhausted, tired, and, and you don't even have the energy or the willpower or the mindset to even do it. Like, because the time is right now, literally right now, right now. There is no other time. There is no tomorrow. There is no next week. There is no next month. The only time you have is right flipping now. What are you going to do right now? If, you, if, you're, if you're laying in bed exhausted and you get an idea, like a, a pipeline idea, Get up and start working on it immediately. Do something. Take some type of action towards that and be relentless. And another powerful thing I learned, uh, strategic quitting. Learn what to quit and what to say no to. As soon as you start becoming a little bit successful or you start building this first pipeline or maybe some people want to jump on board and they see your vision, everybody's going to want to be your partner. Everybody's going to want to partner up with you and say, oh man, you got you to gotta come do my fucking thing. You gotta tell them, do my thing. Screw your dream. Come do my dream. Join my dream. Yo, come work for me. As soon as you start becoming real ambitious and you got that light in your eyes, is when people are gonna be offering you jobs left and right. You know, in the past when you were broke, you couldn't even find a job, but now everybody wants to give you a job and pay you more than you've ever made in your life, and you don't want the job. I'm talking from experience here, but it's just crazy how you can draw a bunch of goofy shit on the whiteboard and recorded on you <laughs> oh man all right i'm ordering some uh food from the carry out uh restaurant downstairs about to go get some food and get up out of here and i don't know what you about to do let's draw this is my cheeseburger 
stir up some fries and shit. Get out. Let me tell you a story about Ray Kroc and McDonald's. And I'll tell you that in a different story. There's a drink. Okay, I'm getting it all out of here. Alright. I'm gonna get the hell out of here and get some carry out from the restaurant downstairs. I like this office, it's cool because it's like 24 hour access. Come and go as they please. You can have like access to this big conference room where you can, you know, hold meetings or do whatever you want. And then it's right by the mall and there's a restaurant right downstairs and you can call order carry out. It's awesome. Oh wow. I love this city. You know what I thought? Unless you live in the absolute ghetto, which I have before, look at your state and look at your city and be like, you ever be like, I hate living here, I want to move to California. You know, that's what everybody in Michigan says. If you are flat broke, and then your life sucks, and you see everything in a, like, but if you're like, you know what I mean, if you're depressed, but if you're like, kind of like, really chasing your dreams and you're chasing what you want and you're in a hot pursuit of a worthwhile vision then it doesn't really matter what state you live in because everything is really exciting everything is um totally different you feel alive you feel awake you know what i'm saying so you know what i'm saying it doesn't matter where you live it doesn't matter yumbo what's up man mm. Mm mm mm. Deliciousness. Deliciousness. Hey, you ever seen a What About Bob? You gotta see it. He's sitting there going, mm. 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 With Bill Murray. You gotta see that shit, yo. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Quappy. Mm. Mm. Mm.